uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, been suggested uh, to the wife uh, that I should lecture here in aid of charity on some topic of, uh, well, general interest. Uh, true learning is modest and avoids ostentation, but, uh, well, uh, seeing it's for charity, uh, uh, the wife agreed, and so I stand before you now. I'm not a professor, and uh, university degrees have, have uh, well passed me by, but uh, it's common knowledge that I, uh, that I have uh, well, uh, sacrificed my health and uh, creature comforts for these last uh, 30 years, working uh, well, non-stop on problems of a strictly academic nature, and that I, well, I even have some of my uh, learned scientific articles printed in the local rag. Uh, a few days ago, I gave the uh, editor a large article uh, entitled The Ill Effects of Coffee-itis and uh, Tea Mania on the Organism. Now, as the uh, subject for my lecture today, I've chosen the harmful effects of smoking and uh, taking snuff on the human race to explore the full significance of the theme, I shall uh, endeavor to be brief and confine myself uh, to essentials. Uh, opposed as I am to the popular approach, I shall be strictly academic. And I suggest that you uh, members of the audience should be imbued with a sense of the subject's uh, significance and attend uh, with due seriousness to my present lecture, if anyone's scared by the idea of a dry, strictly scientific speech, if he's that frivolous, he can stop listening and go. Very well. I uh, commence. Your attention, please. I, I should uh, like to ask the doctors in my audience to pay particular attention. My lecture is a mine of useful information for them, since nicotine not only has harmful effects, but is also used in medicine. For instance, it was prescribed to my wife in the form of an enema on the 10th of February, 1871. Uh, now, uh, looking um, at the sorry, uh, <clears throat> tobacco is an organic body. It is derived, to, uh, to my way of thinking, from the plant uh, Nicotiana uh, tobaccum, uh, which belongs to the genus uh, Solanea. Uh, it grows in America. Its main constituent component is an oral deadly poison, nicotine. Chemically, uh, to my way of thinking, it consists of uh, 10 uh, carbon atoms, 14 atoms of hydrogen, and 2 uh, nitrogen. <clears throat> nitrogen. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> from these uh, choking bouts, uh, asthma for ages. Uh, um, uh, the complaint dates from the uh, 13th of September, 1869, the uh, day uh, when my wife gave birth to our, well, her sixth daughter, Veronica. Uh, the wife has nine girls in all, but no boys, uh, of which she's very glad, because, uh, well, boys would be a nuisance in a girl's boarding school in, in many ways. There's, uh, there's only one man in the whole school, uh, myself. 
<clears throat> but uh, the respectable and distinguished families who have confided their children's fate to my wife can rest assured that, well, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, uh, time being short, let's, uh, let's not wander from the subject in hand now, then uh, where were we? <laughs> you know, that choking fit caught me at the most interesting point. <laughs> but it's an ill wind that blows nobody any good. Uh, for me, and you, and especially the doctors in the house, that attack can serve as an excellent lesson. There are no effects in nature without a cause. Let us therefore seek the cause of my present choking fit. Uh, now then, <clears throat> of course, the only cure for asthma is to avoid heavy and spicy foods, but... Uh, well, before coming here to lecture, I permitted uh, myself a certain indulgence. Uh, it must be added that today was was pancake day at my wife's boarding school. At lunch, each girl uh, receives a single pancake instead of the main course. Being my wife's husband, I don't think it's my place to praise a woman of such integrity, but... I swear there is nowhere that catering is so rational, hygienic, and efficient as at the wife's school. I can bear witness to this uh, myself, uh, having the honor to be matron. I buy food, uh, keep an eye on the servants, present the accounts to my wife every evening, uh, make up exercise books, uh, devise anti-insect precautions, uh, uh, spray the air, count the linen, uh, make sure that there's at least one toothbrush per five students, and uh, that not more than ten of them dry themselves on the same towel. Well, today, I had the job of uh, issuing flour and butter to cook in a quantity strictly, strictly corresponding to the number of girls. Well, so we had pancakes today. It, it must be added that the pancakes were intended solely for the girls. You know, for the members of my wife's family, a roast was prepared, for the, which purpose we had a shin of veal that had uh, been kept in the larder since last Friday. Uh, the wife and I decided that it might, uh, you know, uh, spoil by tomorrow if we didn't cook it today. Uh, anyway, let us go on. Now, uh, what do you think happens next? When the pancakes are already cooked and counted, uh, the wife sends to the kitchen to say that uh, five girls have been punished for uh, misbehavior by not being allowed pancakes. It thus transpires that we have five pancakes in hand. What are we to do with them? <laughs> Quite. Are we to give them to the daughters? <laughs> eh, but my wife won't eat, let my, her daughters eat stodgy food, so uh, what do you think we decided to do with them? <laughs> Could anything have been uh, kinder, more loving, more angelically good? Marcellus, dear, says the wife, you eat them yourself which I uh, did uh, after drinking a preliminary glass of vodka. Oh, that's why I got the wheezes. That was what was behind it all. Oh, <laughs> uh, we somewhat erred and strayed from our subject. So let's go on. Well, uh, chemically speaking, nicotine consists of, uh, here we are, uh, 10 carbon atoms, uh, 14 hydrogen. You know what, I uh, uh, suggest you... Uh, Memorize this formula. Uh, chemical formula is a, a great standby. <clears throat> Here you are. <laughs> uh, I forgot to say that uh, besides being a matron in the wife's school, I also have the job of teaching mathematics, uh, physics, chemistry, geography, history, and visual aids. These subjects apart, my wife's school supplies tuition in uh, French, German, uh, English, scripture, needlework, drawing, music, dancing, and uh, oh, uh, deportment. As you see, it has a larger curriculum than the, uh, the grammar schools, not to mention the food and the comfort. Oh, and you get all this for practically nothing. That's what's so fantastic. 
Full board costs only 300 rubles. Half board is 200 and the day girls pay 100. Well, there is an extra charge for dancing, music, and drawing. By agreement with my wife, it's a, it's a fine school. It's located on the corner of Cat Street and Five Dogs Alley in Mrs. Mama Shekin's house, uh, the one whose husband was a major. Uh, the wife's at home, available to interview parents at any time, and the school's prospectus is on sale in the uh, Porter's Lodge at 50 kopecks a uh, copy. <clears throat> so, I, uh, I suggest you memorize the formula. Chemically speaking, uh, nicotine consists of... Uh, 10 carbon uh, atoms of carbon, uh, 14 of hydrogen, and uh, 2 of nitrogen. Uh, kindly make a note of it. It consists of a colorless liquid which smells uh, like ammonia, but what uh, matters to us actually is the immediate effect of nicotine on the nervous centers and the muscles on the digestive canal. Oh lord, they've been mucking about with it again. Now, what am I to do with these wretched Miserable girls. <laughs> uh, yesterday they put uh, face powder in my snuff box. Uh, today it's something with uh, <laughs> an acrid stink. Uh, uh, sickening. God knows what this uh, this stuff's doing to my nose. <laughs> what rotten, nasty little girls. Now, perhaps uh, you feel that this misdemeanor argues a lack of discipline in my wife's school. Uh, no, no, my dear sirs, it's not the school's fault. Indeed, no, it's society's fault. It's your fault. Family and school should march hand in hand, but what do we see? <laughs> But let's forget this. <laughs> Don't forget it. Forget it. Now, <clears throat> nicotine puts the stomach and intestines in a, um, a tetanic condition, that is, in a condition of uh, tetanus. Uh, but I sense smiles on many faces. Uh, perhaps now all members of the audience fully appreciate the uh, supreme importance of our theme. Some people may even think it funny when they hear the hallowed austerities of science proclaimed from the, from the podium. Uh, naturally, I don't venture to rebuke you. But, uh, children, I always tell my wife's daughters, uh, don't laugh at what's no laughing matter. <laughs> uh, my wife has nine daughters, Anna, the eldest is 27, and the uh, youngest is 17. Gentlemen, these nine young, unspoiled creatures are an amalgam of everything beautiful, pure, and exalted in nature. <laughs> Pardon my emotion, but the catch in my voice, but you see before you the happiest of, of fathers. Oh. But how, how terribly difficult it is to get a, a daughter married these days. Uh, terribly hard it is. It's, uh, it's easier to borrow money uh, by mortgaging your property three times over than it is to find a husband for even, even one of these daughters. Uh, uh, me, uh, me, young men, young, young men, uh, young men, uh, you, by your stubbornness and materialist leanings, you deprive yourselves of one of the highest pleasures, that of, uh, that of family life. <laughs> if you only knew what a good life it is. <laughs> Thirty-three years I've lived with my wife, the best years of my life, I might say. How often have I distressed her by my weaknesses, my poor wife, although I meekly accepted her punishment. How have I rewarded her anger? 
Uh, the reason my wife's daughters have been so long finding husbands is that they're, they're, they're shy and never meet any men. The wife can't give parties, never has anyone, anyone into a meal. But uh, I can tell you in confidence. My daughters are... Uh, my daughters are on view on high holidays and their aunt Natalia's house. That's the one who has epilepsy and collects old coins. Now, I've uh, got as far as tetanus. Uh, anyway, uh, oh, <laughs> well, uh, until we meet again. <clears throat>